The health department is reminding schools that indoor and outdoor ceremonies are not allowed. Some outdoor celebrations like car parades are allowed, but each household has to stay inside their car. The state says the safest option is a virtual ceremony so everyone can stay at home. Well, graduation is just one of the big changes the mm. class for the class of 2020. No doubt. So we wanted to try and understand what they're going through from their perspective and from a professional. Christian Cordero joins us live from Hopkins High School where it's very quiet there these days, Christian. It sure, it sure is, Heather. Uh, that end of year hum, let alone the start of a school day, isn't quite what it used to be. I spoke with six Hopkins seniors, not here, of course, but in the modern classroom, if you will, that is Zoom. Uh, with the advice of a psychotherapist who was also on that call, they were asked about the people in their lives that they can talk to. Everyone agreed that they have those people in their lives, but most haven't reached out. By leading on those people in a in a time like this, I feel like I'm I'm a burden on them. I'm just so used to keeping stuff bottled inside that I just deal with it just when time goes on. There's thousands of other problems out there that are bigger than what we have, bigger than not being able to go out and live our normal lives. Joe, Michael, and Molly are three of the six Hopkins students who sat down with me alongside Dr. Corey Yeager, who's a life coach who works with the Detroit Pistons. Turns out, according to Dr. Yeager, missing out on your normal lives, including things, by the way, like prom and graduation, triggers very real feelings. He says the brain is doing its natural job of asking, what is going on here? And yeah, in a pandemic, there are many issues, but the issues that affect you are personal. They're big to me. Um, that doesn't diminish anyone's, anyone else's issues by me saying my issues are big to me um, and they matter uh, drastically to me. Might be a good time to reach out to a senior in your life if you have one. Um, these are the things that this class, the at least the part of it that I spoke with, um, seem to have in common. In the next half hour, we'll talk about how their perspectives are a little bit different despite sharing this mm -hmm. experience together. And Heather, what that means for the class overall as they go forward. Yeah, you know, it, prom and graduation are important. You also have to sort of close one chapter before you yeah. really start opening up the next one. It was great to hear from them. All right. Christian, yeah, thank totally. you. The class of 2020 is going through an experience unlike any other. We wanted to get a better understanding of how they're handling it all and what from it they'll bring to the next chapter of their lives. Christian Cordero joins us now live from Hopkins High School with perspective from students and a psychotherapist. Good morning, Christian. Good morning, Kim. So in the last half hour, we um, talked about what these kids, the six kids that I spoke with from Hopkins High School have in common, right? A lot of them said that they are struggling, but they're hesitating reaching out to their people in their lives because they feel like they could be a burden, like compared to a lot of the other things that are happening during this pandemic, that this isn't quite a big deal. We got some advice from a psychotherapist who was on that call, uh, worth checking out later if you haven't seen it. But right now I wanna focus on where their perspectives are actually a little bit different despite going through the same experience. Right? You'll hear from a student who misses her people. You'll hear from one who is torn on how to feel. And you'll hear from a young man who says that he actually kind of likes some parts of quarantine because it takes some pressure off. Being around like peers, like people your age, you want to like try to like act a certain way to get someone else's approval. But like when you're by yourself, you can just, you can see what you want. I want to be able to be with people without thinking that I'm putting them in harm. It's just been kind of like a tug between my emotions of like, oh, I really want to be sad, but there's also some people who would kill for this opportunity to even like graduate high school. So the most important thing that I really is Rohi, Mallory, and Faith will graduate from Hopkins in a way that they never would have imagined. And that's enough to be unsettling, according to Dr. Corey Yeager, who's a psychotherapist who works with the Detroit Pistons. He reminded students of something that they're fast tracking today and will be valuable for the rest of their lives. Lean into the learning, even in situations that may seem negative. Always think there's something to learn in that situation, even though it may feel negative. Um, look for the learn, it's there. 
He also mentioned the cohort effect, which is basically who you become based on shared experiences. This entire generation, the class of 2020, is going through something that will in part help define them. How will that manifest itself in 10, 20 years? Maybe it could uh, bring out a little bit more anxiety, which Dr. Yeager says tends to happen when you're in isolation. Maybe they will hold on to their social networks a little bit tighter because they know what it's like to lose it. One thing I heard from one of those students was that she feels like she's adulting right now, which Dr. Yeager translated as maybe gaining some independence in an earlier stage in life than she would have. Kim? Yeah, something that always comforts me, Christian, is looking back at the hard times in my past and the good that came from that. You just got to have faith that good can come from this too and will. Christian Cordero reporting live for us in Hopkins. Thank you. Yeah.